548 right now and Alan Huddleston from uh, Bank of Little Rock Mortgage joins us to debunk some common mortgage myths and we appreciate it because it's one of the most confusing you know things of your entire life Can't stressful be. confusing things in your life if you're doing it alone first time especially yes let's start with the biggest myth of all I got I can't buy a house I'm in an apartment I have to buy I have to, to get work on my credit I got to get that 800 credit score is that is that true it's not uh, not even close <laughs> right uh, abs it certainly helps uh, right. to have a little bit higher credit score from an interest rate standpoint uh, when these loans are priced it's all based on credit score so mm -hmm. if you've got a 720 740 or higher you're gonna get a much lower interest rate than you would if you had a 640 660 620 um, but as far as the overall approval goes if you have a 620 at least mm -hmm. uh, the debt to income ratio is in a pretty good range most of the time we're gonna have an approval even with a lower score yeah, 620 so you're 200 points different from what you think you need <laughs> that's and you're right. gonna be okay <laughs> that's right another thing is maybe you're saying well I can't afford a house because I don't have 20% down right I mean let's talk about even a hundred thousand dollar house just twenty thousand dollars cash a lot yeah. of people don't have that but you don't need that either you don't um, you know I, it it surprises me a little bit. I still have people that call in and, and think they do need a 20% down payment. I mean, years ago, and it's been a while, mm, yeah. um, that was a requirement. And yeah. it was kind of a barrier to home ownership because most people just didn't have that 20% down. But there are a lot of programs now, um, even have zero down, mm -hmm. uh, VA loans, rural development loans, and then even the traditional, more conventional financing, um, 3 to 5% is really yeah. kind of the average. So, so no, you do not need that large 20% down payment if you have it yeah. great uh, you, you, it may get you out of PMI mortgage insurance but mm -hmm. it's not required talk about the rural development loan just really quick yeah. you think that that sounds you know so far away that might be across the street from your neighbor's house it's amazing how they divide these lines it up. could no uh, absolutely yeah, I've had some friends that they got that loan uh, another right. one is um, is it always a good idea to pay off my mortgage or should I pay other bills first it is it, it can be a good idea but certainly not always I mean it really depends on the individual and their financial situation if you've got just a ton of cash burning a hole in your pocket, you know, and you, which I don't, I don't think most of us do, yeah. um, and you have no other debt to address, then it might make sense to pay off your mortgage. But, um, but if you've got other debt, mm -hmm. high interest debt, credit card right. debt, you're probably going to be, um, you know, in a much better position to pay that off first. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that most of the time, the mortgage debt, the interest on the mortgage debt is tax deductible, right. whereas the credit card debt is not. So you really just want to look at that. Make sure before you drop that cash to pay mm -hmm. off a loan, you're paying off the most beneficial, you mm -hmm. know, loan in that scenario. Last, uh, real quickly, uh, yep. by the way. Three point, what is it for 30 year conventional? 30 point? year is averaging uh, 3.5 to 3.625 with with higher credit at yeah. this point. So yes. get on there and refinance even if you bought it perhaps last year. Absolutely.